about getting the monkey off your back, so to speak, but did you finally be able to uh, yeah, you know, obviously it feels really good. Uh, never haven't got a chance to beat them, you know, until today. Uh, we've had a bunch of chances chances to beat them since I've been here. Um, and somehow they always find a way to win. So, you know, it was good just being able to finish the deal today. Was that something that motivated you coming into the game? Just having not having had any success against Virginia in the past. Was that something that kind of fed into this one? Uh, yeah, you know, all the older guys were talking about it. Uh, just knowing we've all been here and we haven't beat them yet, uh, you know, obviously it's not a great, great feeling. So, you know, we kind of had that a little chip on our shoulder, you know, going into the game. They kind of fought back in it a little bit. What, how did you guys lock down there in the last couple of minutes? Uh, just, just by getting stops, you know. Uh, his name, last name is tough to say, but obviously, you know, 53, he was making a lot of tough shots, um, tough threes. Uh, you know, I've been there myself before, so I know what he must have been feeling, you know, in that moment. Uh, but we were able to, you know, anchor down and, you know, close out the game when it was, you know, important, get a few stops. Uh, Dave stepped up down the end, uh, got a few big rebounds, made some big free throws. Uh, we were able to close out the game. Well, when they were coming back, and Coach Mack sort of alluded to this, was there any sense of, of uh, you know, here we go again, or kind of in the back of your mind what had happened against Virginia for nine straight times? Uh, you know, a little bit, but kind of we were just looking at it as, you know, we're not going to lose again like that. Uh, we've been here before, and, you know, we talked about it in halftime. You know, it seems like we're always up. 10, 12 points going in a half against Virginia, but they're always a team that's going to fight uh, claw back. Um, they're coached really well. Uh, they stick to their game plan, and it works out for them. So we just know we had to, like I said earlier, just anchor down. Uh, in the second half, you all weren't hitting your threes like you were in the first half. Was there a concerted effort to go more to Steve or to get into the paint more in the second half? Uh, yeah. Um, also, just he was um, playing really well in the second half, so if he makes, if he's doing really well, we're just gonna keep getting the ball to him. Uh, you know, even if Mac isn't exactly, you know, saying get it to him, which he usually does all the time. Uh, you know, we we recognize that and just you know try to feed him as much as possible. One more. Jordan, in the first half, I mean, it seemed like everything that anybody threw up, especially at the beginning of the game, was was going in. What's that like to be on the floor? And it doesn't matter who's shooting a three, you feel like it's going in. Uh no, obviously it feels it feels good. You know, we have a really good shooting team. Uh, you know, it's like that in practice a lot of days too, so we you know we see it a lot. But um, you know, obviously in the moment against, you know, Virginia it feels good and it's just a, a great way to start the game. Thanks, Gordon. Thanks guys. Thanks.